Hey, in this video we are going to learn another steering behavior which is the pursued steering behavior. As its name suggests, the goal of this behavior is to make an agent follow and try to intercept another moving agent. So as you can see here we have two meshes representing the pursuer and the evader agents, furthermore each mesh is linked to a vehicle instance. Having said that, to add the pursuit behavior we'll create an instance of the pursuit behavior class and pass the evader as an argument to the constructor. And then of course we'll add it to the pursuer steering property. That done, now we are going to move the evader around to see how the pursuer vehicle will act. To do that, we are simply going to add the seek behavior to the evader vehicle and then change its target position over time. Having said that, if you don't know what is the seek behavior, I highly recommend you watch the tutorial I made on it, link in the description below. So we'll start with the creation of a target for the evader to seek hence move around, and we'll create and add the seek behavior to its steering property. Now since we didn't set coordinates to the target, the values are by default set to zero, which sets it to the origin of the scene, therefore the evader will move to the center of our scene. And as you can see, the pursuer vehicle has followed. Now we can make the target move continuously in order to loop the pursuit. To do that, we'll simply use the time to change the x and z coordinates of the evader target in addition to some math to set the values. Actually, let's make the hunt a bit wilder by increasing the speed of both vehicles. Finally, as I said earlier, the main goal of this behavior is not to make the pursuer entity follow exactly the path of the evader, but to intercept it and that by predicting where it will go, especially at certain points where the evader agent changes its direction. That prediction can be controlled by a simple numeric value set as an argument to the pursuit behavior constructor method. Notice now when the ball changes its movement direction, the cone make a sort of a shortcut trying to catch it. And this is it for this tutorial, so make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.